Hey friend, welcome to my art studio. Today I have so much to get ready for my trip to France next week. If you didn't know, I am off to the south of France next week. This is May 2022 when we're filming this. Um, and I'm going to be teaching two different groups of art retreats. So a whole week long group of 15 people each week uh, is gonna join me in the south of France. And each day we're gonna have a different focus and um, we're gonna paint together and we're gonna get to know each other. We're all staying in the same chateau uh, called La Jougie in the south of France. I'll link to it if you guys wanna check it out. They do a lot of like vacations and rentals and weddings. It's a beautiful, beautiful venue. And uh, there's gonna be a chef on site that's gonna be making our food. We're gonna do some little excursions and I'm gonna take a couple days before going to the art retreats uh, for myself in Paris so I can check out some museums. Some It's my favorite city in the whole world that I've ever been to. So I'm very excited to have some like creative uh, time, go get some good food and some good cheese and good wine. And I'll be traveling by myself. So I have a lot to do this week. Today, I'm banging out a few of our Patreon exclusive videos that are gonna be posting this month while I'm gone. So lots of filming today. We had, um, we're filming behind the scenes for these vlogs today while doing the Patreon exclusives tutorials and she knows. And in the Patreon exclusive videos, the focus this month was clouds and then landscapes. So incorporating clouds in your landscapes. And the landscape itself is a part of the monthly challenge that I did for my Patreon art community, which was painting a landscape only using three colors. So the landscape that I did today or that I, I've been doing today is used, I'm using red gouache, blue, Prussian blue watercolor, and lemon yellow deep watercolor. So those are the only three colors I used in the painting that I'm doing for the Patreon art community and the Patreon exclusive tutorial for that. And then I also painted a big fluffy uh, cloud. That was super fun. And I ended up like not liking it at first, but when you stick with a painting, sometimes you really, really will surprise yourself. And it ends up being a lot better than what you even originally had in mind before you started painting. So there was like a, a point halfway through filming where I looked at John and I was like, I don't like this. And if I was by myself, I probably would have just scrapped it. But John was like, the people love seeing when you like keep at something and like try to work it out. So I'm really glad I did that because it turned out a lot better than what I had originally even hoped for or planned for uh, before I even started painting. So a little encouragement to you if you're getting really discouraged or um, annoyed with how a painting is coming out, don't give up just yet. Sometimes those final detail steps or maybe doing something completely different. Like I added white uh, acrylic ink instead of just doing it with, with a, uh, Instead of just doing it with watercolor, I added white acrylic ink to make the clouds pop some more because it just wasn't coming out as contrasty as I wanted. So go with the flow, keep at it and see what happens because you might surprise yourself. So before planning my Patreon exclusive, my two Patreon exclusive um, tutorials for this month, I've been like, obviously if you haven't seen it, we'll link to the video where I talked about feeling burnt out with like being a tutorial uh, pumper outer machine <laughs> um, and how we, sw we switched up our YouTube game and our Patreon game. We added an art community to Patreon and all of my how-tos or in-depth tutorials are gonna live on Patreon now. And obviously in these vlogs, I'm still doing some how-to stuff, some process tips, some creativity, like flow stuff and tips on here, but it's not gonna be a super in-depth tutorial like I have on my Patreon now. But because of that shift, I'm now able to focus more on making it more cohesive. So for example, for this month, I wanted to focus on clouds and landscapes and incorporating clouds into your landscapes. So up first I sat down and painted the um, cloud tutorial for Patreon. 
and I found this reference photo on Pinterest and I wanted to just grasp the really like, uh, like a good depth in the cloud. So not just like white, a white cloud on a blue background. Obviously there's grays, there's purples, there's pinks, there's yellows sometimes. And so incorporating softer, warmer tones with, with gray tones, with blue tones and cooler tones um, and how to make this piece really pop. And so, like I said, at first I was like, man, this is really getting lost. I'm not, I'm not liking how this is turning out. Maybe I should start over. But then I grabbed my acrylic ink, my white acrylic ink, and I started using that as with my mop brush. And I loved the texture that was coming through with my mop brush. And then adding some black and blue watercolor with the white acrylic ink to make it like a softer, cool gray. And then adding some purple gouache, some pink gouache and all of that. If you want an in-depth tutorial, obviously my patrons, um, this is available on my Patreon exclusive, so you can check it out. I loved how this came out eventually, but it was something that I had to put in more, um, like I had to just push through. And, and even though I couldn't see how it was gonna turn out and maybe it was gonna be a big waste of time to keep pushing through, um, I continued to push through and I was very, very happy with the end result. So just a little note of encouragement to just try and push through and don't give up so easily. Um, and just see if you can fix it or if you can add more depth to it or maybe switch up the medium, add gouache on top or acrylic ink on top, whatever. And then I moved on to incorporating clouds into this eucalyptus landscape. And I was only using three colors because another thing with our Patreon is we have this new brand new art community that's a part of it that we have, have on Circle. And so we have a monthly challenge for them. So this month's monthly challenge for all the patrons that are in the community was to paint a landscape with only using three colors. So I thought I would do that as well and also make it a part of the a second Patreon exclusive tutorial. So for this challenge, I wanted to like actually show a tutorial on how I would, I would use only three colors for painting a landscape painting. And then also incorporating the other exclusive tutorial by using clouds in a landscape. So we painted trees, we painted clouds, we used three colors. It was super, super fun. And I also didn't have very much drawing gum left. So I was originally planning on painting birch trees um, but the drawing gum was like super sparse. So I was, I kind of had to think on, on my toes a little bit and created this like stripey graphic looking eucalyptus tree with, with a brown that I mixed up from these three colors. So I used red, blue, and yellow. And all of the colors that you see on this painting are only from those three colors. And I show you exactly how to do that in that Patreon exclusive video. Um, so if you're on a budget or you are at the art supply store and you're overwhelmed with how expensive good quality paint is, you can start with just the three primary colors and you can get brown, you can get black, you can get grays, you can get warm tones like oranges and, and pinks and reds and purples and cool colors. So there's a lot that you can get from just those three colors. Um, obviously neon colors aren't as easy or pastel colors uh, are kind of impossible to mix with certain primary colors. Um, so there's that, and that's why I have like acrylic inks or white gouache or other colors in my palette like Opera Rose, which is a bright neon pink color. Um, but it's such a good exercise, or if you're on a tight budget, it's really good to just stick with the three primary colors and use those to mix up greens, oranges, and all the in-betweens.
So on top of having to film for Patreon exclusive videos while I'm gone so that I'm, John's not coming with me, so I won't be able to film them in France, obviously, because I'll also be working. Um, I have lots of emails. Tomorrow, my course, Pen to Press, launches and it's open for registration for a week, along with my brand spanking new course, Prep for Print. Um, so it's a very, very big and busy week. I have phone calls and emails and all this stuff, and there's so much that goes into prepping or like preparing for a course launch. And so I've been, you know, creating the, or tweaking the sales page for Pen to Press because it's a course that I've launched many, many times before. So I just had to tweak a few things along with the sales uh, emails, the checkout pages, the, you know, all of that, that goes into preparing an online course and launching an online course. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that me and Kelly, my operations manager have been working away on. Um, so big, big week and I'm ready for it to be done, but there's so much to do in preparation for France and for these courses. And then I'm ready to pew, fly in the sky to France for my art retreats. Can't wait. Nice little reward after a really crazy week. And also on top of the crazy week, for some reason, my phone has been ringing off the hook. People need me. People need me all week long, all day long. Oh, and I have to cook uh, two sourdough loaves this week because I just started a sourdough bread journey of making sourdough journeys. Um, and I'm obsessed, but it's very time consuming. And in order for the dough that I made last night to not get ruined, I have to go and like turn it and prep it and make it into a little ball. So, you know, just another thing on my to-do list. So there you have it, folks. I have so much to do, um, as I said, so I'm gonna get to work currently, um, but wish me luck on all the things. Make sure if you're interested in learning stationary design or prepping your own files for print, in-house or outsourced, check out my courses that launch or open for registration tomorrow. This video is last Friday. That open for registration opened this week. And even if you see this in a year, we'll have it available. So check it out, we'll link to it here. Um, but wish me luck, follow me on Instagram so you can see all my Paris and South of France stories while I'm there. And um, I'm so excited. And if you're interested in art retreats, I'll be doing them more. And I am going to be taking a vlogging camera. This is my first foyer into vlogging. Uh, a vlogging camera with me to France. So I will be showing you guys all the behind the scenes. <sighs> I'll be showing you guys the behind the scenes and how the venue looks, the setup, the art classes and all of that that I'm super excited about. So we'll be doing a recap video and I'll also be posting like crazy on my, on my Instagram. So make sure you check me out there. Um, but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.